Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeZ69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the T30, yes, the American Tier 9 tank destroyer? Is it a tank destroyer or is it a heavy? Now, this game or these, this video, sorry, we're, we're going to have a look at a couple of replays, uh, we're going to have a look at the stats and we're going to talk about is it an actual tank destroyer or should it be a heavy now recently i was supposed to do this video ages ago i mean these replays are from a few updates ago uh recently droodles has done the same video same video and i'm going to use that for reference now in his video he basically said it is a t29 with a tier 10 gun that is perfectly well described that is exactly what this is. It is a T29 uh, hull with, or T29 tank with a tier 10 gun on top of it. Uh, so when you look at it like that, how can it be a, a tank destroyer if it's a T29? Now the armor is not that strong. On the whole, the armor is quite weak. Now, of course, when you come up against the tier tens and the tier nines, you're not, and even tier eights, to be honest, you're not going to bounce anything on that hole. But what this does have is an extremely strong turret. It is an extremely strong turret um, that can bounce almost anything that comes its way, and it has a very nice gun. A gun that can penetrate pretty much anything. You don't even need calibrated shells when you are driving this tank. What you can see, if you've played the light, now, one thing you will be, I don't know what this lightweight's doing, but he's, uh, I know exactly what he's doing. He's going back to the garage. See you later, T54 lightweight. Um, but what you will find is if you are grinding the line, 100% it is worth it because this tank is fantastic. Uh, don't rely on any, any bounces if you're not in a hold down position and do try to use that HE, just like that shot there. Absolutely beautiful shot into that T54 E1. Um, so yeah, do try to use that HE, but whatever you do, and I'm telling you now, if I see anyone playing this tank like a tank destroyer, you are playing it wrong. Do not ever play this tank like a tank destroyer because it's not. It, it, it shouldn't even be a tank destroyer in the tech tree. It should be a heavy because it is. It is a heavy. So do not play this tank like a tank destroyer. Now, another juicy HE into the rear of that 53 uh, in, in against that 50 TP. Um, also, what you'll find when you're grinding this line is don't rush the line. You know, once you get to the the T30, don't rush it, because once you get to the E4, you'll be a little bit disappointed, because the E4, in my opinion, is not as strong as the, the T30. I would quite happily switch these over, you know, put the E4 as a tier 9, and the T30 as a tier 10, because the E4, of course, has that massive hatch on top, that is extremely weak, and anybody can penetrate it. However, I'd like to see the E4 in tier 9 and the T30 in tier 10. Give it a few more hit points. You don't even need to really change the penetration. You don't even need to give it more armor. Just give it a few more hit points and it will be a tier 10. So a very, very juicy game here in the T30. Over 7,000 damage and a lovely ram kill there for the victory. So he really used the HE uh, wisely that game and it paid the price. It, he, he, I mean, the enemy just got destroyed and he got 7.2K damage. He did also bounce almost 1,000 damage as well. So don't sit at the back of the map. Don't not ever sit at the back of the map and just don't sit in the open. Play. It, it, this is a frontline ridge tank. Just because it's a tank destroyer, just pretend it's not. Just pretend it's not a tank destroyer. Now, this is perfect for matchmaking uh, because obviously it, the matchmaker decides on uh, tank type. So if you've got three heavies on your team, which you can have, this can be your fourth. This can be your fourth heavy because that is what it is. So do not ever use this as a tank destroyer. I cannot stress enough. Uh, I do apologize if you hear a plane above because it's very, very loud in this in my office here. Uh, but I think you should be okay. So here we are, and uh, this is me. This is actually me driving. Um, again, 
I'm not going to play it... F I mean, it all depends on the enemy. It all depends on the enemy where you're going to play. But I always try my hardest to look for a ridge. To look for a ridge because that turret will... Uh, will hold up even against tier tens as long as you've got your angling correct your turret will hold up so i'm just gonna head straight towards a ridge now i am actually in a tier 10 game there's just two of us uh, in tier nines up against tier tens so as soon as you start turning your turret your turret does become very very weak and it is a massive turret so do pay attention to where the team are because here i'm aiming against these these guys on the uh, the left here and of course if there there is tanks on the right they can penetrate me and if there's a death star there he can penetrate my turret as well now do be careful of death stars because they can hate you your hole so uh, do be careful you don't want to come front uh frontally against a death star because he will be able to almost destroy you with one shot against your hull so try to hold your hull no matter what tier you're in you could be up against tier tier eights uh, always try to hide, hide that hole of yours because it will be able to be penetrated so we're just going to try can't quite get the shot here now i'm not looking at a ridge line here because the enemy are two tanks down and of course i do want to help this uh, these these guys on the right side there is a few of us and i want to clear this uh, uh definitely this death star as soon as possible and of course the grill that will be their two high rollers that will be their two tank destroyers the two big guns out of the game so there goes the grill and now i just need to clear this death star now i could have took him out with he uh, i just took my shot to be honest I, I didn't even bother switching to the he but i would be able to penetrate the uh, the rear of the death star uh, with he so now we've taken care of those uh, those two guys it is just now three tanks left alive and i've had no one shoot at me i've had no one shoot at me i haven't lost any hit points and i haven't bounced a single thing but that is just how i like it now i would love for this tank because this tank does look like a beast it does look a beast i will love it when this gets that pbr file it gets the upgraded graphics and potentially uh, a legendary camouflage as well now i run the graphite camouflage because i love this camouflage uh, i've got a few of these uh, you can get a few from the Steam bundles, uh, but I think this tank looks fantastic with this camouflage. And when it gets the upgraded uh, HD models, I think this tank will look like an absolute beast. So Wargaming, hurry up and give it the upgraded uh, graphics, because I think it does need that. Now, the last time I made a video about upgraded uh, graphics, better graphics on the Leopard 1, the next tank announced on the... Uh, from wargaming to get the pbr was the leopard one so wargaming if you're listening the t30 definitely needs uh, those hd models so you can see now without out of nowhere i've lost most of my hit points we have bounced one shot though which was good because i would have been dead and we got free care i mean it's nothing special but you can get that regularly you can get that kind of damage regularly it all depends on how you play this tank but don't play it sat at the back of the map like you would a grill or a waffle or a tank like that because it's not made for that and actually that was a very very easy uh, first class i don't even know how that was a first class so let's just have a quick look at its stats uh, and then we'll end the video but look how beautiful this tank looks it, it does look absolutely amazing i can't wait for the hd uh, so turret 279 279 beautiful 2676 dpm 14.3 seconds reload your penetration is 276 and 320 on your apcr now the reason i don't run it with calibrated shells is because of that apcr uh, you don't get much more pen than that you'll gain a little but not much so you've got a 640 alpha gun uh, 545 on your apcr and a nice 960 on your he aim time 5.2 so again not the best and the dispersion 0.353 however with that turret armor it's got 10 degrees of gun depression so you have to get on a ridge and you have to use that gun depression uh, for the armor to work but let me know your thoughts on the t30 i would happily see this tank as a tier 10 let me know your thoughts in the comments below but for now hope you enjoyed today's video guys i'm meaty 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye